In this session, session four is about 5S. We had the previous one on the uh, Toast Kaizen, showed us some of the ways, hopefully got us started on some of the, some ideas on the uh, first step for a Kaizen ear. Now we're going to show you another system here, another uh, way of approaching this as well. It's 5S. Here we again, we list some books that, this being an introductory program, some of which you're going to have to study a little more. But we got 5S in healthcare setting, it was a Brian Hudson presentation at Wabash Valley Lean Network. We have 5S for service organizations and offices, that's a book. Lean thinking, from people from uh, the Lean Enterprise Incorporated. 5S for operators, the five pillars of visual management of the workplace. That's also a book, 5S in the visual factory. That is a 41 slide presentation by Lean Enterprise Institute that we can provide for further study also. And then Gimba Kaizen, the common sense, low cost approach to management. Remember in the introductory session, I pointed out that this Masaka Amaya wrote Kaizen in this book and then later another book, but he's consulted with, in this book, he lists 21 companies that he's consulted with, including Disney. 13 or 14 of those he helped just by implementing 5S alone. So there's a lot more, there's a lot to 5S, and I've been studying this stuff for three years and I don't even claim to be an expert at this stage. So let's go through it. We're gonna, we're gonna have a little fun here and we're gonna learn a little bit as we go through it. Okay, introduction. 5S is a method to improve and sustain a workplace organization. 5S represents the five disciplines for maintaining a visual workplace. Visual control is an information system. It is also our introduction to visual management, which we'll have another complete session on, I believe. These are foundational to, for continual improvement manufacturing strategy based on lean manufacturing or voice reduction. It removes clutter. It reduces the time it takes for tools and, and equipment, looking for them. Mm -hmm. And it a place for everything and everything in its place. It improves how the operations appears to the customers. It'd be tour ready all the time. It creates pride in the workplace. And many companies expect you to be able to find any tool within 60 seconds. Now, what we have for typical team operator standards is the first three S's, which are sort, straighten, and shine. Under sort, we sort through the amount of inventory. We get rid of tools that don't belong in the area. It helps us to remove scrap. Straighten is to look at the aisle ways, look at the tools, the equipment, and mark those things out. And shine is more than just a cleaning program. It is that. But we're also reassigning routine equipment to a maintenance task to the operators. We'll get into that a little bit later. And a checklist of what to do as cleaning is performed. Now as I said, 5S leads us into visual management or the visual factory. This is a way of making problems or abnormalities become quickly visible. And that should help us as a Kaizenier too on that first step. If we can bubble those problems up, make them quickly visible, they will be a lot easier to spot. We mark off inventory locations. We mark off equipment and machine locations. We visually indicate amount of allowed inventory. This is a problem, particularly like the guy in the previous video was talking about, the waste over production. If the process that's feeding you all of a sudden has 15 or 20 pieces, and they dump them all on you, and you're only looking for two or three pieces, now you got a bunch of stuff you got to weed around. So return it to them. They made the mess. They did. They had the problem. Let them stumble around it. It's not your problem. Keep metrics, wall charts, and other information current. Label all cabinets, shelves, etc. with their contents. Post production status and upcoming jobs. Now we've got through that, let's play a little fun game here called the 5S number game. This number game was provided by Wabash National, a heavy manufacturer and a Wabash Lean Valley member. 
<clears throat> the application examples were provided by Franciscan St. Elizabeth Health and Wabash National to help us reinforce our learning experience. So let's get ready here. We're going to go into a, a series of games just to give you some inkling of the power of 5S. We want to mark out numbers in our workplace from 1 to 49 in order. So when you're ready, let's turn the page. You have 20 seconds to knock out 1 through 49 in order. Next page, please. <laughs> Five. Ten. Fifteen. Stop. Stop. How far did you get? How far did you get? How many? Three. Three. Okay. Hey, that's not bad. Five and six. Yeah, five and five. Yeah. Okay. Now let's let's go one more step here. We looked at the numbers, and that's one you're sorting from right there. See the problem now. 5S, we're going to do, we're going to apply the first step. We're going to sort this workplace, this workplace of numbers, we're going to sort them a little bit. What can we do to help sort this thing? Well, one of the things we can maybe do is get rid of the numbers 50 through 90 because it just cleaned the place up, right? Mm -hmm. We're only looking for 1 through 49, and maybe we can move the, remove the mouse and the mouse pad, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's sort it. We got rid of excess material. You ready? Uh, you got 20 seconds. Go starting now. Turn the page, mark up, the one through 49 in order. 10, 15, stop. How many did you get? 16. All right. <laughs> See, just moving, just doing a sort. Just sort. Goes from 3 to 16. Now, let's go to the next step. We're going to set these things in order. This workplace. We're going to add some racking. And we're going to give you a little clue. When you look at your sheet like this, in the upper left-hand corner in this rack, is going to be number 3. 2 is going to be down here. 1 is down here. Four's over here, five's here, six is here, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, and so forth. We're going to do that, and we're going to go, we're going to start in about four seconds. We're going to turn the page, go. Ooh, yeah. Ten. Fifteen. Stop. I mean, 24. 24. 3, 16, and 24. Okay, good. See? This does see this is improving already, isn't it? Yeah. We did a little sorting. And then we did a set in order. We didn't get to 49 yet, but we uh, but we made some real progress here, didn't we? Yeah. Now, the third step is called shine. There's no way to really show how that works in the number system, but we've got to talk about it a little bit anyway, because it's very important also. When you sort and organize something, like moving a couch in your living room, what do you have to do? You find dirt and dust, and you got to clean it up. Yeah. Well, the same thing with sorting and setting in order. You're going to have places that need to be cleaned. We, we need to resurface the floor, wash the pole, paint the wall, and various other things. And mark off our inventory slots and only allow three pieces in there. They can't put any more. That's, that's the way we decide, okay? We want to clean everything inside and out. But we want to do that for more than one reason. Yes, we want it to look pretty. Yeah. We want it to be tour ready. But we'll get into another. Prevent dirt and contamination from reoccurring. Assign routine maintenance to operators. Freeing maintenance techs to plan and perform uh, preventive maintenance actions. This is important. This leads you into TPM, one of the three cornerstones of a functioning lean operation. 
What that does then is allow the maintenance techs to do the preventing maintenance so they don't have, they can reduce, as you see below here, the expensive breakdown maintenance. Oh, the machine broke down. We got to turn to and everybody fix it. If we minimize that, it saves us a lot of money. Better safety, better quality, more satisfying work requirement. Now, let's continue with our game. Let's do a little standardization here. We, we've sorted, we set an order, we shined everything now. Now let's do a little standardization here. And we need to, again, we've got a workplace with 49 numbers. We want to go through this. So let's go through here just a second here. Let me cheat and look ahead here. Yep, that's where we want to be. And three, two, turn and start. Five, ten, fifteen, stop. <laughs> if you just take a straight line to it, it would have been a lot easier. Ah, okay. For I mean, you get that time. I thought that they have to make a No, I understand. All right. But Quite there's all 49 of them there in, in, in nice Norris standardization. A place for everything and everything in its place, right? Right. Okay, now let's just see if you got that. Let's now that we've had the fun of this. Let's